I mean, we provide a valuable service to the community, especially uh, in our center. We are surrounded by uh, mostly uh, monolingual first generation immigrants. Most people, they don't speak uh, uh, English. They just arrived. Their children are the ones who are benefiting for the, uh, mostly from this. You see our class in animation is always packed. These people waiting and our theater, uh, we have very good response. As a matter of fact, more than 60% of our income, almost 70% of it, comes from ticket sales, comes from the classes. We have, a, we have we're working for the community. Uh, we have the community backing, and that has helped. It has helped us a lot. When Ben first talked about it, I was actually crying. <laughs> I remember, yeah, we were crying that time because it, it has become a home to me, man. Like, I deal with a lot of stuff outside of here, home, school, and just like friends and stuff. And come, being able to come here, it's like a safe haven that, that I always have. And so, um, I think as a group, it would be a big loss. But I guess, I don't know, maybe it could be a gain because uh, it could bring us a lot closer and maybe. Sure, we'll find a park somewhere to go do this. But there's nothing like actually having this theater and all the memories I've had in this, because aside from the, from the theater class, I've done a bunch of productions here. And uh, so it's, it's, it's a big, it, it would be a big hole in my heart to have the theater taken away from us. Just before the city came up with this idea of uh, charging regular commercial rent for these buildings or 50% of, of that rent, they give to one of the richest men in the United States a big lot in downtown Los Angeles to build uh, a museum to house his collection of modern art. Was it? So the money, if, if they charge this guy $10 million a year for the rental, this guy is a billionaire. He's worth almost $100 billion, something like that. So $10 million a year, it's nothing. But they gave him this land for $1 a year, something like that, for a, a 20 years, 100, whatever. Eli Broad may be very rich, but he says he wants to die poor. To achieve that, he gives money away by the bucket load. Half a billion dollars so far to Los Angeles, to Disney Hall, the LA Opera, the Museum of Contemporary Art, three scientific research centers, and he puts his name on almost all of them. I've been in the arts for a while, even just drawing, personally. I like doing that. I, I'll tell you that I never actually wanted to be an actor at first. I actually wanted to be a soldier just so I could hold a gun, but art is really where it's at, though. So if I were to lose all that, yeah, it is kind of just like being a soldier, losing everything you have. I would say they should focus on education, the arts, healthcare. Try to focus on those. This theater isn't the only one that probably like like if it were like shut down. There's a bunch of other theaters. Like our our teacher Ruben, he works at other different places with groups just like us. And uh, it, and like with the arts being slowly taken away, it's uh it it's it's sad because it's one of it's it's an essential thing for our society to keep moving forward. The arts, same thing, not just the not just the dramatic arts, the fine arts. 
musical arts, dancing, st every any kind of like art stuff, because it's a way, like part of our First Amendment, freedom of expression. How can we express ourselves if there's nothing, if there's no creative, artistic way to express ourselves? We're all just going to become dead and like, yeah. Actually, there was a study a few years ago that it would be more costly for the city to close these centers than to keep them open. Because if they close them, they have to have a guard around 24-7, and it would be more costly than the money that is spent right now. Uh, there was also an attempt, a few, like 10 years ago, of the city retaking these facilities. Uh, it would cost the city to run this facility just with a uh, director, secretary, and another employee about a quarter million, half million dollars each. Just on that, we're not talking about programming. At this point, it costs the city about uh, 40 to $50,000. But if the city does all the programming that we do, it would cost the city about $2 million a year to run these facilities. Thank you.